Africa. Where's your husband? Because I'm seeing you lonely. Eh? I don't have a husband. Eh? I don't you are know. lonely, eh? Yes. Eh? Yes. You want to marry? Yes. You want to marry who? No. My husband. I don't know who. Eh? Whoever my husband is. So he's gone. I don't know. Or have you are husband. searching for him. I'm not searching. If God will bring, then I will allow. So can I bring someone to you? Yes. Eh? <laughs> yes. Now. Now. Come on, come on, deep. Go away. What are you doing to her? Huh? What are you doing? Think about if I don't deliver her, no one will see her beauty. Everybody will come to say, want to sleep with her and go. I must bring a husband to date to her. I must bring a husband. Come on, you demon. Eh? Why don't want her to marry? <laughs> eh? Speak out. He's, she's going to marry a rich husband. <laughs> She'll marry a rich person. Yes. <laughs> so you, you want her to marry a poor person? <laughs> she's rich. She's also rich. Can't you see? She's, she's rich. Yeah. So you don't want her to marry? Eh? <laughs> No. All right. So leave her today. Leave her here. Make it down to, to vomit this thing. Make it to vomit. Vomit. After this vomit, she will marry. Brothers, you people are trying to do business. Shona corner. Shona corner. This thing of like, you, you are hearing, we are praying for these people. You, you must open your ears, brothers. When we are praying with people, you hear someone say, this lady will be rich, and you want a rich person. You cannot go to a person when the person is now rich. No, no, relationship whereby you wait for someone. Are you hearing me? Yes. Huh? Yes. You can't wait for someone when the person is rich now. And you say you want to marry the person. No. A relationship is good when you start from down together. Are you hearing me? This demon must leave you, eh? Amen. You understand? Amen. Uh, if you want to get married, Baba, look here. You don't look who's working where. This is the mistake that you people are doing. Amen. You, you, you look from a man from down, whether he's wearing a red coffee, or, or is wearing a robust tea. You don't look at those things. You understand? Amen. Yes. You ask God. You ask God. You ask your heart. You check the person. You don't check the clothes. You don't check the car the person is driving. Amen. You are making a mistake. Amen. You understand? Don't, Amen. don't tell yourself. This thing you are telling yourself, you don't want to marry a poor person. You don't want to suffer. Don't tell yourself something like that. Amen. The person you need, you need a Christian. Amen. You go to church, you sit in the church, you worship God. God will show you, this brother is a Christian. And there's no man who's beautiful. Amen. No man is beautiful. Because the, the, the real man, the real man must have a big nose. <laughs> and must be... If you want a beautiful man... If you want a beautiful man, you marry a woman. Amen. You understand? Amen. You must never marry a white in complexion man. <laughs> if you want to marry a strong man, a strong man is a black man. Black. <laughs> it's not true, Mama. You must cancel these people. Please, you must cancel these people. We don't want to always deliver people. Deliver people. This issue of I want to marry a white man, tall man, what, what? A man, a black man. If you want, you find a peach black, you are blessed. Amen. You understand? Amen. And you must also check the nose. The nose must be bigger than yours. <laughs> you must, 
You are blessed. You, you will marry. You hear what I said? Amen. Huh? Amen. Where were you checking? <laughs> no, speak the truth. No, it's true. Riches. I said I don't want to marry a poor man. These people think I'm joking when I'm speaking with you. Yes. You, you need. If I can show you a man that you need to marry here. These people here, I'm talking about the color. These people here are white in complexion. Uh, let me find you people here are white. <laughs> yeah, this is my advice to you. Because if not, you won't marry, I'm telling you. Remember there's a spirit in your family. Where you people here, you fail to marry. Amen. Huh? True. It's not true. It's true. So if I don't, brother, can you stand up here? You see, this man's color is your type. <laughs> you hear me? Okay. So, don't say I didn't tell you. Don't ever say I didn't tell you and don't blame me tomorrow. You hear me? Amen. Because already you put somewhere, you put yourself somewhere and Satan now has captured you. So, um, this thing that I'm telling you, if you want peace, can you see the color of that man? Amen. Huh? Yes. Congratulations. Amen. Thank you. And uh, any man, any man can change color. You can find a man like that one. You go, because God is going to give you money. You, Amen. You're going to be very rich, Jesus. woman. Thank you, Jesus. And from there, you get something, you know, you go there. You know, even myself, you see my color. This is not my color. Yes. You understand? Yes. It's Mama who's be dealing with me. <laughs> she, she pour water. There's things like salt. <laughs> you find that. You go to these people where she buys some things so that I put myself here. If you can see, I'm wet a little bit. I was not like this. <laughs> go outside, you, say, you check the picture. Yes. Where I was with Mama, you see me and Mama, we were like that one. Yeah. And now, can you see I've got, I'm, I'm beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> so you need that type. And I'm telling you, you, with the type like that, because I know your husband, I'm seeing your husband now. If you get a man like this one, I'm telling you, you're going to be an example in the whole family. Thank you, Jesus. For you people, you have Amen. Proud. And then when I'm speaking with you here, I'm speaking with many ladies here. There are many ladies like that. Can you tell us your name, where you come from, prophecy you received today, and also confirm it? Uh, my name is Puselezo Mashabela from Mamilodi. The man of God located me today, and he prophesied to me. He said he's seeing me, I am not married. So I'm confirming the prophecy that it's true, I'm not married. Uh, he said there's also a spirit of not getting married at home in my family, which is true. Me and my sister are not married. So what the man of God has prophesied today, I confirm it to be true. And for how long were you praying that you should get married and how was it affecting you? Uh, we've been praying for a long time and it's affecting me because I've got three kids and not being married, it's a bit hard, but I believe and I have faith that as the man of God prophesied to me today and touched me, I believe that I'm delivered and surely, because he also told me what kind of a man that I must get married to, he said he saw my husband, so I believe and I have faith that after today, Whoever God wants me to get married to, surely he will locate me. And were you aware that uh, th this problem, it was because of spirits uh, in your family? Yeah, I was aware because I'm, I'm just visiting here. So I also go to a deliverance ministry. So I've been delivered before, but I've never been told what the man of God has told me today about who my husband is and... He also described him that I must get married to a dark man, not light in complexion. So what he told me today, it was different to what I've heard before. Yes.
and now that you have received deliverance and a, a word of guidance as well, how are you feeling and what is it that you believe God is going to do for you? Uh, I'm feeling that I'm, I am delivered and I believe that from today, as God has located me, indeed my destiny has changed, my marital life is going to change as well. Amen. The, you know, I know there are many people around you, you understand? But things are not going the way you want them to go, you understand? Yes, it's true, huh? it's true. And uh, you, you know, I don't know, because I'm seeing the conference. You had a conference, isn't it? Yes, huh? it's true. You were having a conference. Yeah. But the conference never gave you what you wanted. It's and true. this is lowering your spirit all the time. It's true. I believe this message of today is yours. It's your message. Yes. You understand? God loves you. I, I, I don't know. It's like even yourself, you didn't want to come here. Satan was holding you. You didn't want to come here after stories. Yes. Huh? It's true. And then now, look at your ministry. Everything is going down. Yeah, yeah. Can you see when you take stories from people, you don't hear from God. Everything falls. And uh, here you are trying. You have been trying to work very hard, isn't it? It's true. Eh? Very true. Eh? Did you invite some people from Zimbabwe or what? The church that I'm submitting is from Zimbabwe. From Zimbabwe yes. Eh? Yes, it's from Zimbabwe. Let me pray for you. Uh, because listening to people, it really affects you. Even, please go and tell your wife also. Yes. You understand? We're supposed yes. to come together. Eh? We're coming together. So when we're on our way out, my parents came. So, so I, I left there and said, let me step my feet here. So, okay. so now, did you find I'm a man of God now? Now you believe I'm a man of God? Yes, I believe very eh? much. Very much. You know you believe, but yes. all along when you are told stories. Yeah, I've been hearing stories, but since I've been coming. Eh? I've been no, coming. No, I mean the stories you were told that I'm yes. seeing. Eh? And uh, these stories lower your spirit. That's true. Eh? It's true. So God loves you. I want God to increase you. God bless you. Congratulations. Come on, please. Please, uh, brother, you must pray for your father. Eh? Yes, daddy. You understand? Yes, daddy. Come in. And you must forgive. You must forgive. Yes, daddy. Pray for your father and forgive. Are you hearing my brother? Yes, eh? daddy. Is yes, that God will use you? Yes, daddy. Eh? Yes, daddy. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, I do understand. Can you confirm what I'm saying? Because it seems as if here, I want to speak one word first, one word. Daddy, when, when we came out of the church that we were brought up in... Uh, I say forgive. Yes, Daddy. You understand the message, forgive. Explain. If you understand, yes, you understand. Why I say forgive. Because it is, like a, it is like my parents have disowned me without saying it. Uh, I can't hear you. It is as if my parents have disowned me, although they won't say it, but I can see it, that it is like... You were disowned? Uh, yes, daddy. So forgive. Forgive. I'm seeing a child, sister. I'm seeing a child. Are you hearing me? Eh? A child. So, eh? My son. It's your son. Yes. Where is he? He's at home. Eh? At home. He needs prayers because they are attacking him to have divided minds. You to have, have? Different minds. It's like he's confused when I look at him. Okay. So you need to pray for him. That's because what the psychologist said. Eh? That's what the psychologist said. Psychologist? The psychologist said so. They say what? They said he's a bit confused. So confused. 
Yes. So just pray for him, you'll be free. Here. Lift her, I want to ask her. You know, I'm slow, but I want to pray for you. You know why I'm praying for you this way? Because you don't believe in falling down. You, you will pray it. And you just say, ah, me falling down. I will make sure you fall down again. Stand up. What do you say today? Now you believe. I huh? believe. You believe now? Yes. I will fall, make you to fall down again. Can you see no one is pushed here? Yes. Now you'll get a job now. I There's receive. a job that is coming to you. I because Stella, you have been trying to get a job, isn't it? Huh? It's true. You were trying to get a job. It's true. And you tried to apply many places. It's true. And there was no response. It's because you were not falling. It's because you were not falling. Now that fall again, you get promotion. Fall. Fall. Fall again. Now when you get a job, after four months, you'll get promotion. Come here. This, this one. This one. I don't want to pray for people that God is not showing me. Because I must pray for you because of what is happening to you. you uh, God wanted to lift you. Eh? Yes. But the wrong people came to you. Amen. That's true. Eh? That's true. And after that, your spirit was lowered. You used yes. to be a prayerful warrior. That's true. Eh? That's true. But now you can't even finish an hour yeah. in prayer. You know what I'm talking about. Yes. Yes. Eh? yes. Yes. So now you are visited in the night. Yes. When you sleep there, you see things coming. Huh? Yes. And these people here, they want to feed you. That's Sometimes true. you wake up. Yes. You want to remove the things you have eaten. Yes. Huh? Yes. Can you go back to the state of prayer? Because yeah. what they are doing to you is to stop your calling. Amen. You understand? Amen. So today we are reviving your calling. Amen. We are reviving your calling. And then from today, no one will stop you in Jesus' name. Can you just come in? Can you tell us your name and where you come from, the prophecy you received, and also confirm it? Uh, my name is Josiah uh, Chikanong. I'm from Zimbabwe. And the prophecy which uh, uh, a man of God said is true because uh, um, I started a church, but they came wrong people and uh, the ministry destroyed. So uh, God is said through him that you want to revive my ministry and uh, my calling. How were you affected? I'm affected um, uh, spiritually because I was down when the congregation fight against me uh, with uh, unreasonable uh, things which they were trying to tarnish my image. Then um, I decided to, to leave that ministry then their name on the uh, on on their name, and they split men uh, 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 churches from that my ministry. So that's that is the thing, men of God have been mentioned that my spirit was down through that. So, but now God uh, revived my calling through men of God, my, uh, Prophet Makananis. And and also uh, today was talking about do not be weary and you were facing such kind of challenges and he also located you. How did that make you feel when the man of God located you and told you about the problems that you were coming across? Yeah, during the night, uh, yes, of course, I've been dreaming, uh, feeded by something which I say strange. Like they're going to come like a python. Then I'll handle it. Then I'll just, just wake up and starting to pray. But sometimes I could not finish the, 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 the hour because... Uh, my spirit was low, and that is the things which is happening uh, during the night. They're trying to feed me so that I'll be low, then I'll, then I'll not even doing any ministry. But men of God, uh, 
uh, allocate me what I'm supposed to do and to revive my ministry. And now that they've prayed for you for deliverance, how are you feeling? I'm feeling that I'm delivered and um, um, the, the heaviness which I've been feeling uh, in my heart is no longer there and the burden which I was feeling uh, by the, I was uh, pulling the wagon after I, I left my ministry and um, you know it's very difficult because uh, I've been involved with the wrong people. I thought maybe the, it's the people who can help me for prayers and to do uh, uh, things of God. And what is it that you believe God is going to do for you now that you have received deliverance? Um, God can do a man uh, great things upon on me because it's a breakthrough. So everything what I'm going to do, I'm going to success. Nothing which is going to be hindering as men of God said to me. Amen. Come here. These people left you. It's a group of people. Huh? They left you. Okay. You understand? Yes. And you are left with people that you don't need to look at them and say they are weak. Okay. You understand? Yes. God wants to use this. People who are useless. You, you are in Adulam. Okay. You, you will understand. David, yes. when he was in Adulam, he changed everybody around and make them warriors. Okay. You understand? Yes. So don't worry about those who have been left. All right. You hear me? Yes. Yeah, because they've been speaking a lot of things against yeah. you. Yes. You know what I'm talking about. Yes. So God wants to raise you now. Yes. Come here. There's a spirit that is visiting you here. Yes. Uh, you feel pains here. Yes. Huh? Yes. Let's bring your wife here. Come on, come on. Jesus. You people here, you're all sick. Come on. 